guys rc here back with episode 74 football manager 19 we are with our new club west brom albion so after beating west ham in my debut uh we lost to wolves two to one uh you got to see the stats for this game <laughs> 22 to 9 on shots 60 to 40 on possession two chances to zero Seven to four. We had 11 off target. Passing, we dominated. Tackles, we, we got stomped. And headers, we were right there. We just lost. <laughs> we had a 1-0 lead after three minutes. And I thought this one was in the bag. And they scored two second-half goals. I was distraught. You can see a lot of shots from the edge of the box, but they're not really considered long shots. Uh, I was distraught. Anyway, uh, two to one, that kicked us, that knocked us out of the FA Cup. We came back and we were underdogs against Southampton. Uh, we actually went down one nil. Wesley Holt scored an early goal. Nicholas Nardi with a brace for us. Oscar Melindo. Got a goal for us as well, and we cruised 3-1 to one in this one. We did play the 4-1-4-1 tactic uh, in this one. We had played the uh, the Fluid 2.0, the Bust the Net tactic here. And again, we just dominated, but just couldn't put them in the net. And I think that'll just come with time. We've got good shooters on the club. Um, just... You know, we just need to get that tactical familiarity. And if we, speaking of, if we look at that, so the 4141 still developing. Uh, and then here, uh, still, it's actually coming along. The passing style is still awkward, but it has worked well. I've been very happy with it. So today we are playing Tottenham, Tom T. We have yet to ever beat this club since I started this save way back with Infield Town. Tottenham has nine wins, two draws, and we have yet to win a game. So we are severe underdogs at home at the Hawthorns. I am really tempted to go back to this tactic, but let, let's, let me see what it's going to do. And if we go here, okay. So we actually end up losing a little bit on the outside. I wanna keep trying this because I like the way that it works. I like the way that it looks. It just looks interesting. Uh, it's something new for me as well. Uh, real quick before we get to that, let's take a quick look at the transfers. Uh, we have sent Sam Johnstone to Stoke, our starting keeper. I decided I was not going to re-sign him, uh, and he is valued at double, but his contract ended this year. So I've moved him to Stoke for 6.75. We can pick up another $2 million, uh, if he plays. I think it's 50 games, uh, so sometime next season, potentially, uh, we can pick up another... $2 million, and he is on a two-year contract. I have gone out and made my first signing. I've dropped $18 million. That was a shock to the system for Bobby Brady from Bournemouth. Brady is a midfielder. He can play the Mazzella. He's natural, uh, really good physicals, uh, two-and-a-half-star current, four-star potential. Uh, I like his mentals. You know, he looks okay, and he fits into our starting. He has already, he's played a couple of cup matches. Uh, so let's see. He is actually slated to start today, I think. Let me go ahead and just double check. Yep, we already have that. All right. 
uh, Alan Burke. So those are some of our youngsters. We're playing a lot of youngsters right now just because the squad was a little thin in my opinion. Now, we're up against the salary cap basically, and I've dropped with the signing of Brady. There's no one else that I can. What is that? Oh, profile. That's leading score, yeah? Score. I don't know. Anyway, let's get to it. Expected to prove a point today. I'm going to give them some faith praise. Uh, let's see, where is Russell Evans is starting for us today. I don't think that's who I wanted to start. I don't think that's who I plan to have start. I think he's my U23 guy. I did make an inquiry to Manchester uh, United for one of their young goalkeepers. Oh, Deli Alley, I've heard the name. All right, let's pause here. So, I don't recognize any of the names on my club. All right. Kiernan Tierney, because he played for England in the World Cup. Deli Alley. And Harry Kane, of course. Uh, tragic broke his ankle in that Champions League match. Uh, out, for the, out for a long while. But anyway, uh, let's give them to get creative. All right, that's headed out. Oh, good clearance. Good clearance. Tierney goes and corrals it. Lumps it back to the keeper. All right. Betancourt. I've heard that name too. I just didn't recognize it in the list. Oh, nice touch up to Mesh. Ager. All right. Come on, defense. There we are. Come on. Okay. Lumped out to Tierney. Crossed in, header, cleared away. Oh, Harry Kane. What a save by Evans on the first shot. Pushed it down, but Kane was right there. Oh, that was a nice save, though. I mean, I, I'm going to give my keeper credit for that. All right, we're handling possession. We've got shots. Push forward. Off the post, hoofed out of bounds. Come on, boys. Make something happen. Demand more. Nothing. Nothing. As big underdogs as we are, I think being down 1-0 is actually a win. I mean, you know, if I could get a point out of this, I would be very happy. So, good number. A final third. All right, sympathize with the boys. All right. Those uniforms are pretty hard, close to the socks is what stands apart. All right, come on, fellas. Oh, damn it. Oh, Sergio Mecca. That was a nice goal. My keeper looked like shit. All right, let's see. Where is... You know, I don't even have a keeper on the bench. Yeah, he's my young guy. That's... That's not who I wanted. All right, well, that's my fault. That's my fault for not paying attention. Um... Defensive left. Let's bring Obasi on. Olmo. Let's bring Towers on. We only have one. Well, I've got a couple of strikers, but that's all right. All 
All right, if we don't see any, all right, I want to try, let's go to there. All right, towers, you are, no, we're going to pull you off mid mid center can Brady play up mid okay Chick Wuma Coelho hmm <laughs> all right let's see Defensive mid, hefty, okay, mid right, okay, so Obasi, where are you at? You can go out there, Chickawuma, you'll have to come off. All right, Wit. Defensive right and left, so you can go there. Niambi can come on for you. And Towers will just have to play out of position. And we'll make this sub a little early. Push forward. This is the tactic that we used and won our last match. All right, we put in a couple of shots. Only three out of ten on target. A horrible, horrible through ball. Looking for the overlap. I mean, losing this is not a huge surprise, right? Not a surprise in the least. All right. Um, yeah, well, okay. They didn't like that. They didn't like me kissing their ass. That's good. I like that. They're willing to take responsibility for how shit they played and losing the game. <laughs> Brady makes his debut. Coelho, nine hours without finding the net. All right. Well, we've got... Uh, we're actually sitting... We're two goals off on goal differential. We're okay. I, I still think we're going to be okay with relegation. We're just going to have to find points when we can. Ingram. All right. I'll deal with this off camera. We'll be back for the match with Stoke. See you guys in a second. We've been getting a lot of offers for our Chinese national. Uh, let's go look at him. Should be able to pick his name out here, right? Why is he not on my list? Is he hurt? Medical, medical, right here. Hmm. Okay, let me go look at the inbox. Okay, here we go. Lang Kun Pang. He's played 15 matches. He's a left back. Team report, depth chart. All right, he's there. All right. Did I just overlook him? Left back. Haggard's there. Come on. Ling. Defensive left. All right. I have unavailable taken out. Why is he unavailable? Oh, he's on international duty. That's why. Okay. So <laughs> he's actually our nominal starter there, right? Pretty good. He's under contract for through 2031. We've been getting offers. He's valued at 20 and a half million. We've been getting offers 
anywhere from 12 up to about 25 million. He's got a $62 million release clause to Champions League sides. So Chelsea came after him, and I told him no, because it was about $25 million. And he got mad, and I told him, I said, look, bud, you've got a $62 million release clause. If they match that, I'll be happy to sell you. You know, if they don't match it, I'm not going to give them a discount. And he said, I understand, boss. You know, that makes sense, and I owe that to the club. So, but he's been gone for a while. He hasn't played for me yet. <laughs> All right, so let's go to where, let's see, we are underdogs on the road. Not heavy underdogs. There is some sleet. Not much in the way of wind. Ow, oh, man. One of my kittens scratched my stomach about a week ago, and, and it hurts. It hurts a little bit. All right, let's go here. I think I want to try this tactic again. I want to kind of push this, but... All right, so Brady. All right, we actually look like we set up pretty good. I do not know. Sleeper Keeper. Grabara. I want... You there. Or is it Glover? Glover's 23. Hmm. Let me see something here. Glover, Glover. All right, you. Compare with Grabara. All right, Grabara's a better shot stopper. Aerial... Everything else is pretty even. He's 28. He's 23. He's better at distribution. Grabara is the one that I actually want to play in goal. Glover's English, and he's five years younger. Yeah, that's I want, I want Grabara in there. I don't know why... I don't know why my guy is not putting him in there, but, you know, whatever. It's also odd that he's not putting a keeper on the bench. I guess you don't have to. Uh, also, our goalless striker is injured. So we are going to be going with Asselini, it looks like. First touch, finishing, pace. So he's young. 14 reserve appearances. He's not playing great. Uh, we do have Burke. He's, yeah, he's no great shakes. Why is he not on the field? All right, I want, let's pick without restriction. Chukwuma? You're a striker, all right. Danjuma. Now you're more of a left side. Danny Olmo. If we do that, no, that's actually worse. All right, why... All right, Vernon's back. He's at 90. That's if I go this route, right? So, oh, that's why. Yeah, we don't want that. I wanted my head of youth development. Okay, Danks. Asselini. We still have a four-star guy on the freaking bench, and I'm not... Not sure I'm cool with that. <laughs> Mid left, attacking right and left. He's got to be, right? Hold on. All right. Attacking. Sobe. See, Sobe's not there, but he's injured. Chickwoma. Why do we why do we go all the way down to here? 
Okay, let's let's come off of this. Let's filter unavailable. Wow, that's just freaking me out, right? All right, Coelho is injured, so Chikwuma is going to be striker. And he is 98%. All right, Dan Juma is my best guy. So I want him there. Vernon on the right. He's a fitness issue, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and put him up there. All right, Nanty. Nardi, Nart, Nardi, yeah. Melindo's injured. Bobby Brady will be next, so that's good. Defensive mid would be hefty. I would really like, if I put Garcia there, what does that do? Doesn't really do a lot. How's hefty's defense? He's got some strength. He's six feet, jumping. I mean, he could play center back. There ain't nothing wrong there. Okay, left back's going to be my Chinese guy. Now, Wit. And then my right back. Okay, so Wit's actually a better right back. Can he play both? It looks like he can. Okay. He wasn't showing up that way on the click. That's fine. All right. So tar Target is there. Alvarez and Hefty. Good. And Grabara. There we go. Then I want... I want to go, but let's let's sort by ability. Okay, and I want to remove from position, remove from position. We're going to redo these. All right, so he's injured. All right, they're all starting. All right, Olmo can go here. No. So it's still not letting me drag and drop. That sucks balls. Um, all right, it was Olmo. There we go. You're in. All right. He's injured. Niambi. Right there. Now he can play right center. Uh, you know what? If I move, because I want to give him. Let's do that. Pull target target out. He's been playing well. I want to try Niambi though. Let's do that. All right. All right. What's his numbers? He looks like a pretty. Is he Korean? Kosovan. Sorry. Hassan Asalani. All right, that'll be our guy here. Where is he at? Hassan. There he is. All right, so you're my striker. You're a defensive left. You are attacking mid left, so we'll put you there. Matt Ingram. Right there. Ben Sheaf. Defensive right and center. Ben Sheaf there. And one more. All right, that's going to be 
Glenn Craddock. Glenn, Glenn. You guys probably saw him before I did. All right, anybody else? Everybody else is injured, so we will go with Stuart Glover here. There he is. Boom. All right, let's play. Let's play. All right. Yes, I understand they're lacking match sharpness. Dressing room. Prove a point. Everybody's motivated. Let's get out there and get a win. All right, we are in the yellow prison outfits. God, that is a, oh, like hurts my eyes. Should have looked at the kits before I took a job. <laughs> As manager, do I do I have the ability to change kits? All right. Cuts it inside. All right, we'll block. Oh, that's a good ball. Damn it. Awani. That's not our guy. Maybe his cousin. His brother from Barnet. All right, well. All right, hefty. Into wit. Nardi turns the corner just off target. He had that post, I think. He had that post. Get creative. Inspired by the feedback. All right, a tight calf. For Vernon. Alright, we're going to go ahead and sub him off. God dang it, he just got back too. Alright, attacking mid-right. Alright, let's bring Dejuma over to that side. And then we can bring Olmo in on the left. Come on, fellas. Hefty now? Jesus. Well, we'll sub him off at the half, I suppose. All right. Uh, how are we doing? Six to three. Two on target. Four long shots. Mm. All right. They're doing okay. Hefty's at 69%. I guess I go ahead and pull him off. I need a defensive center, which will be Sheaf. And we will start the second half. Oh, come on. All right, here we go. No, that's not our side. Knocked away. Cleared out. Good. Good, good. What? No, didn't cross. VAR still undefeated. Loki Doki likes to say that he's never heard of a VAR being overturned so all right dude come on come on there you go knocked away hardly oh Butland with the save come on boys all right Donnie Olmo no come on all right I'm gonna go ahead and pop tactics here we're gonna go to that one we're good we're good All right, Olmo. I guess that got cleared. Oh, they've got a counter on. This guy's got some good pace. No tackling ability, evidently. Who is that? Brady? <laughs> it's my $13 million man. Come on, dude. Oh, there's a save. Cleared out. Nice. Side of the corner. Got to get it over the sideline, not the touchline, man. All right. Let's get creative. All right. Went out of play. Come on, fellas. 
Bobby Brady picks up a yellow. Here's a story of a man named Brady. All right, Nyambi. Up to Brady. Back to Nyambi. Crossed over. Wit squared in. Nyambi again. Oh, he touched it. Yes, Donnie Olmo. Fifth goal of the season. Push forward. Make a sub. All right, so 73-71. Do I have a defensive mid? I do not. Do I have a defensive center? I have a defensive left. I have a defensive left. Steve Witt's playing okay. Nyambi's actually playing pretty well. He's wound up, though. Don't like that. Uh, yeah, Ben Sheaf, he just needs to play into match fitness. That's okay. Um, I'd like to move him. I can move. Now, all I've got is attackers left. Mid-center, Brady, Nardi. Let's go ahead and uh, mid center. Ossoliani, let's bring him in for, there's only 1%. Let's bring him in for the yellow card. That's what we want to do. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. I want to give him some praise, but all right, Danjuma, I uh, bent it high. You know, at this point, we're just looking for points, right? We're going to have a draw here. There it is. We'll take the point. We'll take the point. I don't, that doesn't help us. I mean, Stoke was close. All right. Excellent efforts. You guys played well. I think we escaped the drop zone. <laughs> we have done it. All right. Okay. He's only out for a day. So that's good. He's out for a day. Um, one goal, two shots on target. All right. Well, I'm going to tell him you were, you were good. And there. All right. So let's see. Oh my God. We've jumped over West Ham. All right. So we are out of relegation. So we've got to be happy. Now we're still in a relegation battle though, right? Okay, so we want we still want to climb up. We want to be around 13th, 14th position. So, but we're only two points off of that. We're doing well. So, two wins, two losses, and a draw. I don't think that's bad for where we started, right? I mean, we've only got five wins on the season, and I got two of them. We've got five draws. I've got one of them, and we had 12 losses, so they had 10 before I got here. So it's got to be good, right? Board's got to be liking that a little bit, maybe too early. Okay, well, oh, well, where do we come back? I wanted Tottenham Tom to see his team crushes, so <laughs> uh, let's go ahead I want to play a handful of games. Let's come back for. Let's come back for Liverpool and Aston Villa. Gives me another handful of games. Then we play a top level team, probably get crushed, and then a mid table. But that'll also give us. I mean, oh, this is not a good run up, right? I mean, we've got some games in there that we've got probably going to lose, probably going to lose. I think those four, we've got to take points in all four games. So wins or draws, I think we have to take points in all four if we want to have a shot. Uh, let's see. Tottenham, we brought in uh, 24,000 people. That's good. And we had brought in about 24,000 there. What is the size of our stadium? I do not know. Facilities. The Hawthorns, okay, 26, 688 all seater. So that's maxed out, 26, 688. 
All right, so we're selling out home matches. That's good. Uh, we are halfway through the month. All right, we're losing a little bit, so we're gonna be we're gonna be in some financial trouble. I am gonna end up having to sell some players. I wonder. I kind of hope somebody comes in for that Chinese guy with his buyout clause, sixty-two million. Um, I don't think that's going to happen and I don't think I want to sell him for any less but maybe once he comes back from international duty and starts playing but you can see yeah I need to add my 23 squad into here so we can start rotating some of these high leverage guys Um. anyway oh by the way tactics here that is going to be I want to save team selection this is the fluid 2.0 option one starting 11 there we go that way i can just click on that and bring that back up anytime let me know what you guys think so far. Um, yeah, still a little, you know, some red, but not as much red as we had before. The red up here looked like a drive-by. Uh, <laughs> um, but we are in trouble financially. So I need to... I need to give some serious thought to, you know, trying to right that ship. But do we, do we suffer? Got a thought. All right, we're climbing up. So we're currently in 17th. We get 12 million for a 17th place finish. Three million a pop moving up the board. So if we can get anywhere in that 15 to 25 range, I think that sets us up nicely. And then we can, we can look at our squad at the end of the season, figure out who we want to move on. Um like this guy well he's probably on my u23s he's never going to play for us right you know and if he does which he's made one appearance it's going to be because we're we're just fitness fatigue or whatever he actually didn't play that bad to be fair um he can mark he can tackle he has good technique i mean he's not great he's not a premier level player but you know is that him yeah, so if we look at coach's summary, no. Where is the, where is that one option scouting reports, interaction, comparison, history. There was something up here. Oh, is it here? No. Yeah, I guess I guess that is it, but eh, why are you giving me my report? Well, I need to look at that uh judging. Oh, that's why cuz he has 14 16 judging. Probably the best guy on the club. All right, guys. Well, hey, leave a like, pound the subscribe button if you don't mind, or pound the like button and hit the subscribe button. I don't know. One of those two. I uh, appreciate you dropping by. Let me know what you think of our move to West Brom now that we're a couple of games in, and we will talk to you next time. Bye.